A new movie about the Eucharist did so well in its three-day initial release that it is headed back to the theaters for the third time. Jesus Thirst will be re-released starting today until June 26. In its initial three-day release, the movie grossed more than $2.1 million. That puts it in second place for all documentaries released this year. The executive producer says that his greatest hope for the film is that it continues to win souls for Jesus Christ. All right, for more on that, we turn to Tim Moriarty, writer, producer, and director of Jesus Thirst. Tim, great to be with you today. A, a lot to get to, but first, I want to get your reaction to the movie's initial success. You know, uh, first off, it's great to be here, great to share um, share with your, your viewers. You know, we've been overwhelmed by the success of the film, by the response of audience members, people who have shared you know, um, stories of... of family members, you know, taking another look at the church, saying, you know, maybe it's time to come back home. Maybe it's time to to give the Catholic Church a second chance. I think a lot of us over the last few decades have been through some difficult times in the church with scandals, with, you know, looking at statistics of people leaving. This film has been, I, I think, a really, really welcome piece of art, uh, a film that has stirred hearts to say, wow, you know, what a gift we have in the Catholic faith. And, and as, as, see it as a real tool and a vehicle to bring about this great Eucharistic revival that we're all we're all working on in the church in the United States. What have you been hearing from folks who've seen the movie? What have they said to you? Well, I'll give you a personal example. I, you know, a friend or a family member actually called right after seeing the film, and she was in tears, and she had been away from the faith, and she said, "I this moved me in a way that I, I wasn't expecting that this." This this uh, film leaving the theater made me wonder: Boy, is it possible that God really does come to us in this way? Is it possible that this is what reality really is? So, so those kind of responses. Precept told us, "Thank you, thank you for you know helping me in the work I'm doing, uh, in catechizing my parish." Bishops have endorsed. Many bishops have endorsed the film. Um, so again, we really see this as part of. Eucharistic revival that we're leading up to the days before the Congress. This is a way in which all of us can can prepare our hearts for something that God is doing in the church here in the United States and around the world. It's so beautiful, Tim. It really is. What are your plans going forward with Jesus Thirst? I mean, could it be heading back to theaters again after tomorrow? It, indeed. And so this is some of the very exciting news we're, we're, we're here to share is that the, due to the success of the film, Fathom has given us these encore dates of uh, June uh, 18th, 19th, but they've, they're also going to extend the run all the way to June 26th. And the purpose here is that people who who have not been able to to make it on this this limited release will have time now to, to share it with their friends, to share it with family members. This extended release is a great opportunity to really get the word out and work on the, those grassroots, parish-level sort of communication channels to bring to bring people to this uh, film. For us, it's, 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 th there are people who have seen it already and said, well, I'm going to come back, but I'm going to bring my, a group of friends. I'm going to bring maybe a son and a daughter who've been away from the church for 20 years. That's what I think the gift that we have right now in this opportunity of this extended run, where it's really, it's really an invitation for everybody to say, let's, let's, uh, let's celebrate just the great gift we have of Christ truly present in the Eucharist, and let's share it with those who need it most. Well, Tim, thank you so much for coming on and sharing all this with us. Congratulations on the success. We appreciate it. God bless. God bless. Thank you so much.